Hey everyone, David A. Cox here with TechTalkAmerica.com and today I'm going to show you how you can really easily soften skin and brighten uh, the eyes of someone in a photograph using Adobe Photoshop. Now there's several different ways that you can do this. If you were to do it step by step, it is quite a few steps, especially for softening skin. This is a significantly easier way to do it. There's this thing called an action pack, and it's more specifically the Digital Photographer's Action Pack. It's a little add-on you can purchase for Adobe Photoshop. It's $10. There's a link to it in the description of this video. I'm going to show you how to install it and, of course, how to use it. And who better to use as an example than I'm going to submit myself. So here's a less than flattering selfie of me pre-haircut, and we're going to try to make me look a little bit better. Model, no. Closer, eh, arguable. So here it is. This is what you get when you download the Digital Photographer's Action Pack. It's pretty, pretty simple. The only thing you actually need here is this little file right here. By the way, this does work for Windows as well as Mac, so no matter what version of Photoshop, you should be good. What we're going to do now is go into the Photoshop files and add this action script in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New Finder Window, and from there we're going to go into Applications. Here we have Adobe Photoshop. In my case, it's CS6. Double click. And from here, you're going to go into Presets. And here's the folder right here, Actions. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that little file and we're going to drag it and drop it in. I am not an administrator on this account, so I just have to authenticate and do what you should never, ever do and have no password. Oops. And put it in there. So now we are good to go. What I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to drag that photo into my little Photoshop icon here to open it up. Now, if you don't have the Actions window over here on the right-hand side, what you can always do is go to where it says Window at the very top and go to Actions and just make sure that is checked. Now, from here, what you're going to need to do is add it in. So what we're going to do is click this little button. Sorry, I know my cursor is like giant right now. Click that little button right there, and that's going to bring up a menu. And from here, we're going to go where it says Load Actions. Click. It should direct you to the same location, and here's the file right here, DPP, and then a whole bunch of numbers right after that. So hit open, and here it is. You can see there's like a little folder right here. If I click that little arrow, it opens up. Now, this is actually way more than just soft skin and how to make uh, the eye color stand out. All these other features here come built in with this package, so it's a really easy way to make the photo look vintage -y, uh, give kind of a dramatic look. The steps to do any of this are all, these are all the same steps. It's just depending on which feature you want to add. So let's start with eye color. Now, granted, I am probably not the best person in the world to use. I have very oddly colored eyes. They're actually, no joke, they're actually green yellow. So uh, this tends to make me look a little bit like a freak, more so than normal. Uh, so just click on where it says eye pop. I tend to think they could have used better wordage. Eye pop just sounds something slightly different. And hit the little play button right here at the bottom. Now it's going to apply all the effects. All you have to do is really brush them in. So from here, you can zoom into your image, adjust your brush size accordingly. Of course, the easy way to do that is to use the little bracket keys. On me, it's very easy to do too much of this, so I'll do the best that I can. It's usually just one little click. Okay, and I still look a little bit like a freak, but that is actually pretty close to accurate. Now, to do the soft skin part, very, very similar. We're going to click now on soft skin. Once again, just hit that play button. It's doing all the steps for you. And now all you're going to do is you're going to just paint it onto the skin. Uh, there's a couple of things you want to be careful when you're doing this. You want to be careful about hairlines. Uh, you have certain features you really probably don't want to hit, like eyebrows. I don't know. Some people like the look of that. Um, I think it, it kind of gives away the fact that it's a photoshopped image. A little acne we can photoshop out there. See the kind of torture I submit myself to? All right. And just kind of paint over the skin like so. Glasses are not easy, so I'm just kind of doing a little bit of a sloppy job here. You want to be very careful around nostrils, too. I went a little bit close there. Neck. Get rid of that. This is a great way to lower your self-confidence, by the way until you see the final product, and voila, not bad, huh? So let me just kind of show you this. So the before and after, there's before, there's after. 
Granted, the eye part still does look a little bit freaky. So that is the Digital Photographer's Action Pack. I'm going to give you also another uh, uh, package uh, of action scripts that you can run within Photoshop that I'm a big fan of. We're going to probably do a video on that very soon, but for those of you who want to play with it ahead of time, you can check those out. Again, links in the description of the video. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that little thumbs up button if you're watching us on the YouTubes. Uh, if you haven't already done so, we do appreciate it. For those of you who are able to give us a little bit of love on Patreon. Patreon is a way that content creators like us can make money and continue to offer uh, free tutorials and do what we do. So we greatly appreciate that as little as five bucks. So we appreciate that. Thanks, everyone. This is David A. Cox, Tech Talk America, class dismissed.